Go ahead and grab some foam board from Dollar Tree, and then I'm just using a piece of chalk just in case I mess anything up. I could just easily remove it. And all I'm doing is just freehanding a beehive. Now, if you don't wanna freehand it, I'm sure you could Google image a clip art of a beehive and print it out, cut, cut it out, and just trace it on your foam board. And once I have that drawn out, I'm just using a sharp box cutter just to cut that tracing right out. Then I'm going to be using this Waverly Chalk Paints in the color Maze. I did end up using two coats of this. You want to just dry the first coat before going on to the second coat and allow that to dry. You then just want to grab some nautical rope from Dollar Tree. Now, depending on how big your beehive is, that depends on how many rolls of the nautical rope you'll need i used just a little bit more than one so i needed two but i didn't use the whole thing of the second one and just went around and just started hot gluing that nautical rope on each section of that beehive next since i didn't use that whole foam board I am going to be tracing out my bumblebee. So just starting off with the body, I just kind of create almost like a teardrop shape, but make sure that the top is flat and then a half a circle for the head. And then the wings are almost like the shape of an eye. So just draw out two eyes. And again, just cut that out using your box cutter. Painted the body with that same maize chalk paint using two coats, then using some blue painter's tape to create some lines and just painting in between the painter's tape with some black chalk paint. And also painted the head with that black chalk paint just so everything matches. And then just painted the wings with some white chalk paint with two coats as well and then just allow that all to completely dry and then I just cut up some more foam board to glue all of these pieces together so just cut up that foam board flip the bee face down and just hot glue the head and the body together and then all you have to do is just hot glue the wings on to the body of the bee and look at how cute this little bee is. Oh my goodness. You could also add some pipe cleaners to the top if you want to make his antennas, but I ended up just keeping that out. Then I made this bow off of my Easy Bow Maker, used some Dollar Tree adhesive glue with hot glue and adhered that to the top of the beehive, hot glued some greenery and a sunflower to the bottom, and then went ahead and just glued the bee kind of close to the center of the beehive. Then you could go ahead and just hot glue some nautical rope on the backside to act as a hanger. And there you go, guys. This was super inexpensive, easy, and fun to create. I hope this inspires you to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much, and I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.